Hey Turtle Nerds, welcome back to another video. Now in today's video, funny enough, even though I just did this last week, we're going to get some more new turtles. This is not me going absolutely crazy and just buying all of the terrapins that I can find. There's a story behind this one. But before we get started with today's video, make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner and hit the little bell notification thingy that way you get notified when I upload new videos like this one. If you wear shirts, and I think most people do, make sure that you guys hit the link right up over here and head over to my Teespring over there you can see all different kinds of shirt designs and merch that I came out with and if you want to go the extra step to help support the channel you can hit the link right up over here and head over to my patreon and over there you will get monthly access to photos videos behind the scenes stuff learning what turtles I get before I get them learning what turtles I have available before I post them publicly phone calls with me answer all your questions all that kind of fun stuff if you want to ask me like a bombardment of questions you head on over there and I will answer them all day every day so with all that out of the way, let's let's get rolling. So here's the deal with these new turtles. Someone messaged me on Instagram and so they basically have a terrapin who they had raised since a hatchling. It was like basically her, her personal pet that she'd been raising for a long time, but she sort of hit a situation that I had been in a little while ago. Essentially, she was going off to school, I believe, and basically didn't have the resources to care for an adult female terrapin. She also had two juveniles that go along with her, but this adult female, she, but this adult female she had raised for a while and was like very personally attached to. So she said, hey, can you take care of her for a couple years until I have the space to give her something bigger? And I said, sure, because I've been in a similar situation and I keep primarily terrapins in my pond. So I'm happy to add another adult female, especially one who could possibly be giving eggs. So that is basically where we are off to today. I'm very, very excited. And yeah, let's let's just get out of here. I got to stop filming because I have to drive. And we're here back at my favorite place to do my favorite thing. Pick up more turks. Okay, turtle nerds, I will be right back with the turtles. Oh my goodness, this box is huge. Okay, boogers, you're gonna go right here and let's get home now. We are home, let's get this box into the backyard and get these turtles freed. Okay, turtle nerds, let's get these guys opened up. It's taped up super well. There we go. Non venomous, all that fun stuff. Harmless reptile. Ooh, now this is a very well done packing job. Wow, in containers and they're taped. And wow, this is actually a really good job. Their noses are, they don't look pink. We've got two juveniles and one adult female. Hi, boogers. Okay, let's just get you guys out. beautiful. Wow, look at that. Wow, these are some good looking turtles. Oh, their noses are not even pink in the slightest. They are. Wow, this one looks really good. That is a beautiful little terrapin. And actually, it's funny because these guys made their way to me. I actually know the guy who bred these. We're actually pretty good friends. So look, and they're totally chill. These guys seem totally relaxed. Wow. We're just gonna put him right there for now. Let's get this other guy opened up. Get him out and then plug this back up. Hold on, buddy. Just wait one minute. Oh, there's poop over his little face. Poor thing. So I need to rinse this little booger off. Now for the adult female. Wow, wow, wow. This girl's name is Almond, which I think is really cute. Whoa! Hello! Hi, beautiful! Wow! Wow! She is a good-looking girl. Wow, wow, wow! This is awesome! Hi! Welcome to my place. It's very nice to meet you. All right, let's get these guys some temporary setups and then we can release them in the pond when they pass their little health checks. Awesome, that's so cool. This is sweet. Okay, turtle nerds, we have these guys ready to roll. We're gonna take the two juvenile, they look like females first and put them in the mini pond here. They probably won't stay and I need to redo this mini pond so that way they actually, you know, stay in here, but. There you go. Enjoy. Hi. 
this one is a little bit larger. Welcome. One of those boogers already disappeared on me and the other one is right over there. So let's go get Miss Almond and let her go. And she'll be returning back to her rightful owner in a couple of years, but for now she gets to enjoy life in the pond. All right, beautiful. Go ahead. I think she's a little chilly. She wants to uh, warm herself up a little. Even in that little black tub that I had them in temporarily, she was sunning herself a little. There she goes. Wow. And she's going to get to know the other turtles real quickly. They're going to sort of... She's going to get to know the other turtles real quick. My camera's going to die very shortly, but we're going to let her get nice and settled in. But overall, I'm very happy. These turtles were shipped perfectly, packaged perfectly, and they're all in incredible condition. They all look really good. No shell issues, no skin issues. They all look really good. There's one down at the bottom by that little rock there, and here's the other guy. And they're probably going to make their way into the big pond, but just for now, we're going to leave them in this little mini pond here. Wow, they look good. Sweet. And about a week or so later, there is Miss Almond right down there. That's the name of the adult female northern terrapin. And she's adjusting really well. She's not quite coming up to me, not quite begging for food yet, uh, which is fine. You know, some turtles take longer to adjust than others. Those two juveniles uh, that I put in the mini pond, of course, didn't stay there. And they're actually adjusting really well to the main pond. Everyone over here is begging for food. And excuse all of the noise. I'm also not filming with my good camera because, I don't know, I'm lazy. And there's honestly not much to show. They're, like I said, they're still very skittish, so they're not really coming over to me. If you guys don't know, I upload every Tuesday and Friday, a day early for patrons, but I did not upload on Tuesday because I have a parasite. A parasite, literally. So I've been dying, and so that's why I missed the upload. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all hopefully when I'm not dying in the next one.